Indian campus of U.S. based Stanford University in Delhi. He has been a visiting lecturer in various schools in India also. Swami Prabhupada's teachings are based on the benefits of spirituality for beginners. His aim is to help students and masses get rid of work related stress, frustrations, and depressions associated with relationships by working on simple ways to get rid of fears, negativity, and envy. Through his discourses, he demonstrates life, how to overcome fear, depression, negativity, and other mental distortions at length, and fill your life with peace, joy, and freedom through very simple spiritual steps. He also speaks about life and its goal, the very simple way to approach prosperity. And now, without taking much of the time, I will now hand over the session to our esteemed guest. Thank you, Vanity. Good evening, good afternoon, everybody. And welcome you all to this 8th International Convention of on Bhagavad Gita and Ramayana as spiritual source of it's a pleasure to be with you all. I hope you all have a very pleasant session. Thank you. So the first person that I would like to invite is Shri Vikas Singh, who is a research scholar in Ambedkar University in Delhi. He is going to speak on Transformational Leadership through Bhagavad Gita and Ramayana. I wish you all the best. ...approaches and compares their effectiveness for students who are from film schools in Delhi and Sihar, India. How do students from filmmaking field deal with the concept of transformational leadership in relation to hope, optimism and resilience? how they get solution to know who they are, how they should live their lives, and how they should act in the world. Do Indian scriptures, Bhagavad Gita and Ramayana help them during their crisis? Are necessary to be sensed from performing the study during the exaggerating regulation concern and thinning of ethical standards among the students in the creative field, especially filmmaking students? A pre post two group TASI experimental qualitative research design with both primary and secondary data sources were selected, and the students were examined for three affirmative effects as variables namely, hope, optimism, and resilience. A sample size of 10 of the age group from 17 to 20 years old students was divided into two groups of five students each. Group one was given an intervention based on their general approaches to examine their leadership qualities, thoughts and actions. Group 2 was given an intervention based on Indian scriptures, mainly the Bhagavad Gita and Ramayana, to examine their leadership qualities, thoughts and actions. The results from both the groups were significantly compared to analyze the effectiveness of Bhagavad Gita and Ramayana in managing the lives and thoughts among the creative students of filmmaking. Transformational leadership is important in organizations and was a leadership model for this study. There is both an inner and outer leader. When a leader understands how to focus on what he or she wants rather than remaining stuck in the problem, he or she is attempting to take charge of his or her inner disposition. The outer leadership helps in taking charge of our lives building communities and stability and environment for success. Leaders need to understand their positions and potentials as individuals and how to bring it forward. Conclusion, from the analysis of the pre and post experimental data, it was concluded that the Indian intervention was more effective for increasing the positive constructs of hope, optimism and resilience. Among and 
धर्म और कर्म इन चारों में तो बहुत ही था इन इन चारों में ही तो जी द आइडिया में धर्म और कर्म सब रिफ्लेक्शन सब इन इनफॉरमेशन इन द बहुत ही था दिस डिस्कशन इज नंबर ऑफ वर्सेस फ्रॉम द बहुत ही था इन लॉर्ड डिस्ना स्पीकिंग तू आजुना before beginning of the Guru Khetra war, Krishna speaks to Arjuna on the topic of Dharma and Karma. Dharma means in, uh, duty and Karma means action. The Mahabharata represents the dynastic battle for the throne of Hastinapura. For the region of Guru Khetra between the Pandavas and Kauravas. The Prince Arjuna, who is, who is for, uh, he is for famous for the actually, uh, uh, for the main leader for the Pandavas. Before, before the battle, the great warrior Arjuna, maintains his character to try the middle to the battle ground to inspect the heart in opposition to them. And Arjuna continues to fight in their own brothers. Arjuna kept at a moral dilemma that stems from the inability to fight, causing, causing the death of uh, his father's family, his, his brothers. Arjuna supplicated with Krishna in his desperation to relieve him of his duty, leading him to accept that. I will not to fight. Krishna says, and message also to Arjuna, in the domain of two words, dharma and karma, which means the current study is primarily concerned the core part of the Bhagavad Gita deals with the response to, deals with the response of the Krishna advice to the to, to Prince Arjuna. Uh, to carry out his duty starting that in his karma and dharma also. A surgery to start, a surgery to dharma is to fight and fight well. This is, that is my introduction part. This is my, the meaning of dharma. The first word, dharma, came in the Bhagavad Gita. It is a part of the essential then the whole of the text and the basic subsequent discussion on the essence of karma also. It is an extremely hard work to interpret without any definite counterpart in English, which means act and behavior that are considered to be the complements with the cosmic order and rhythm. We have consumed patience. हमारा हर किसी के साथ कंफ्रेंटेशन है, टीचर स्टूडेंट्स के साथ है, एम्प्लाय एम्प्लाइज के साथ है, प्रजा सरकार के साथ है, जो प्रेमी है वो अपनी प्रेमी का ऐसे कंफ्रेंटेशन में है, हर एक इंसान दूसरे इंसान से कंफ्रेंटेशन में है, क्योंकि एक इंसान दूसरे को समझता नहीं, या दूसरा एक सामने वाले अपने जीवन के लिए या अपने साथी के लिए अगर उसको एम्प्लॉय करेंगे या इन उसको अपने जीवन में उपयोग करेंगे तो आप कंट्रेंटेशन आपके जीवन में किसी के साथ नहीं हो सकता। जब रामजी और हनुमानजी साथ में रहते हैं तो हनुमानजी को रामजी पूछते हैं कि तुम कौन हो? वो आई तब इतना बेहतरीन डॉक्टरीन हनुमानजी ने बताया है रामजी को आज तक दुनिया में कौन सा भी मैनेजमेंट स्कूल या कौन सा भी यूनिवर्सिटी नहीं सिखाया हनुमान जी बोलते हैं जो मैं हूं मैं अब मैं अपने वो हनुमान जी तीन स्टेजेस में बताते हैं रामजी को देह से मैं तुम्हारा दास हूं आई एम ए सर्वेंट ऑफ यूर्स जीव बुद्धियां, जीव बुद्धियां, तो दामश का। अगर तुम लाइफ की बात करते हो, तो मैं तुम्हारा हिस्सा हूँ। 
आत्मविद्या तुम्हें अगर तुम सोच की बात करते हो मैं तुम हूं इफ यू अप्लाई दिस प्रिंसिपल और इफ यू अप्लाई दिस आइडिया इन एनी कॉर्पोरेट सेक्टर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ ए एम्प्लॉय कम्स एंड सेल्स दिस टू ए मैनेजर दैट फॉर वॉट यू पे मी आई एम एन एम्प्लॉय फॉर वॉट आई एम कमिटेड टू आई एम द पार्ट ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट इफ आई वॉन्ट टू बी सक्सेसफुल ऑफ दिस प्रोजेक्ट देन आई एम द प्रोजेक्ट इफ यू सेल्स दिस Every manager and every employee will be happy on this earth, but unfortunately, neither one wants to say this, and no one wants to expect someone else to say this. This is the problem we have. So, if you follow Ramayana and if you follow these golden words of Dharmaji, there will be no confrontation because there are three things. One is, I am your part. Second, I am your servant, and third, I am you. And to say these things, you need a loyal heart. and we are missing this therefore there is confrontation in this world second aapke bahut sare dost honge ya aapke bahut sare logon ke dost honge aapne aapke dost bhi aapko bahut sare kaam bole honge ya aap apne doston ko bahut sare kaam karne ke liye bole honge aapko mahabharat mein aur ramayan mein bahut sare characters aise milte hain jo they are very popular बट एक कैरेक्टर है जिसका बहुत कम जिक्र होता है लेकिन वैसा कैरेक्टर अगर आप में है या आपके किसी दोस्त में है तो आप इस दुनिया के सबसे बेहतरीन इंसान हैं। अगर आप में ये कैरेक्टर है या आपके दोस्त में भी अगर ये कैरेक्टर है तो आप मान लीजिएगा कि यू आर द मोस्ट ब्लेस्ड पर्सन टू बी लिविंग ऑन दिस उस कैरेक्टर का नाम है अंगद बहुत कम लोगों को पता है हनुमान जी जाते हैं नेगोशिएशन करने के लिए बहुत सारे लोग जाते हैं वो बताने के लिए राम को कि भाई ये ये बात अच्छी नहीं है तू तो सीता के छोड़ दे वो सब देर आर सो मेनी थिंग्स बट आपको ये जान के बहुत हैरानी होगी अंगद भी जाता है रावण के पास अंगद अंगद रावण को यह चैलेंज करता है तू अपनी ताकत बताने की बात छोड़ दे यू फॉरगेट ऑल योर फोर्सेस यू यू फॉरगेट ऑल योर एनर्जी मैं सिर्फ अपना पैर रखता हूं सिर्फ मैं अपना पैर रखता हूं अगर तू मेरे पैर को हिला भी दिया तो हम वापस चले जाएंगे कोई है आपका दोस्त है सब या आप ऐसे किसी के दोस्त हैं अगर ये बात कहने के लिए जस्ट इमेजिन What kind of a manager Ramachandra was? He knew the strength of each and every follower of him. He sent Angada as an emissary, but just look at the courage of him. Emissary is Angada. वो बोलता है कि मेरा पैर रख देता हूँ. तू सिर्फ अपना पैर हिला दे मेरा. हम लोग वापस चले जाएंगे. Please, आप बचपन से लेके अब तक की आपके दोस्त को या आप किसी के ऐसे दोस्त होंगे जो आप भरोसा कर सकते हैं किसी पे कह दे कि हिला दे तो छोड़ दूंगा सब कुछ ये कहना है तो रामचंद्र होना चाहिए अगर वो कह लेने वाला है तो अंगद होना चाहिए आप अपने बारे में सोच लीजिए कि आप अंगद है या रामचंद्र है अगर नहीं I am just a beginner in the field of spirituality. I am trying to learn spirituality because now the world has a lot of problems in society, in family life, in a social life, in a professional life. Lots of problems. I realize uh, in the and now my life is one of the peace. Of our life, but due to the political reason, our leadership is not political leadership is not allowing to us to apply this subject knowledge which is given by our ancestors. 
to get the peace in our life, to perform best in our life. But here we are trying, we researchers are trying to explain to why it is important, how it is changing our personality. So we know many things, your path is through the sea, your way through the mighty water, through the footprint was not seen. You led your people like, this is the one position given by the most and the rocks. But here I want to share my personal experience also. Earlier I was following one spiritual community. And whenever we passed this in the garden, night I was sleeping and putting my problem in front of him. Okay, now I have a problem. And morning I was getting the solution also. I think other people who is not believing in those or, or they are not believing in our Gita and Ramayana, they say they are making food. But I realize, it's my personal, <coughs> in Guru's, our teachers, our spiritual teachers always guide us, directly or indirectly, mentally or physically. At night, 3 o'clock, you can see if you are going to Varanasi, okay, from Andhrapur to I want to go Mughal Rai, night 2 o'clock in a winter season, that can you imagine how you get a single track in Mona Tonto. But one auto has came and invited me, he please sit down. I will drop you, where you want to go, Mughal Rai. And he didn't ask me a single penny. If you give, this is what? This is the spirituality. At the night I was thinking, how I will get the transport? This is the word, believe in the God, believe in our Gita. Our Gita has also said, during the Kurchetra, believe, whatever I am doing, it is for best for you. Future is best for you. So now we are going to discuss little bit. We know there is four yogas, Satyog, Treta Yog, Dwapa, Kali Yog. And uh, in spirituality, our ancestors has enumerated things scientifically. But during the Muslim Islam, I guess, and, uh, after the 19th century, many, so we have, our ancestors has converted, given the same. Our scientific approach to the religious approach, if people will not understand, there is no problem. They can adopt the things as a spirituality. But everything in our Hindu, our Gita, everything is scientifically defined. This is proof. The Kali Yuga means what? Kali Yuga means here. Now, in Hindi, we can say Kali Yuga means we are thinking that you miss the thing back, but it is not. That you miss the current mechanization of the system. And we know there is a two epics, the great epics, Ramayana and Gita, Mahabharata. Lord Krishna has explained to the Lord Arjun what is the meaning, why it is necessary. You are saying you are going to kill your family member. But it is not. It is the system you are going to follow. There is... See, see the Hindu moral law. Mean whatever you are doing, if it is ethically correct, you move ahead. Maybe possible sometime you are going to destroy the, your friendship. Our relationship. Some people, no, no, you are my friend. How you can say? How you can do it? But our epics, the Gita says, no, this is the divine. This is called moral laws. And this is the, what is the operation of Religious truthfulness, cleanness. Why is it important in leadership? Now, 
in a management world, we are talking about leadership means the person who leads the organization to achieve the goal. This is our management. But we are ethically coming. Now we are incorporating the things, ethical values. So this is important. The Cleanest, stopless, mercy, duration of the life, physical stress, memory will be diminished day by day because of powerful influence of the body. We are missing. We are missing the thing. The value, faith alone we consider. Now you can. And uh, my friend, she is also studying psychology. So, uh, my work is. I'm 
होगा तो कोई कहते हैं अपना कमेंट भी ऐसे लिखते हैं कि सो व्हेन वी हैव टू फेस आवर ईगो ऑन द फेस ऑफ इट तो हमें देन आई डू फाइंड इट वेरी डिफिकल्ट और अपने ईगो को खत्म करना वो हमारे लिए बहुत डिफिकल्ट काम है सो यहाँ पर मेरी उसका डायलॉग है बस अटैचमेंट है सो अटैचमेंट इस बस आई तो अटैचमेंट तो साइकिल ऑफ बॉन्डेज एंड सफरिंग दिस आई हूँ दिस बारे में आई हूँ कहाँ तो कम कंट्रोलेड फ्रॉम थ्री श्लोकस ऑफ चैप्टर टू सिक्सटी टू सिक्सटी सिक्स टू बोर्ड सो अटैचमेंट के बारे में उसमें है काफी कुछ है सो द साइकिल ऑफ बॉन्डेज एंड सफरिंग ये इसके बारे में है तो इसमें ये कि व्हेन द फोकस इज ऑन सेंसरी हैप्पीनेस सेंसरी हैप्पीनेस इस व्हेन यू डू एवरीथिंग टू ग्रैटिफाई द सेंसेस फाइव सेंसेस हमारे बारे में सब लोग अच्छा बोले हमारे हमें सब अच्छा हो अपने बारे में सब अच्छा तो जब हम हमारा फोकस सेंसरी हैप्पीनेस है तो हम सारा ये इन्वेस्टिंग ऑल आर Desire for more. Desire for more. इसमें तीन किससे attachment है people, things and titles. And when these desires are not fulfilled, that causes loss of memory of your soul. Soul. तो ये स्वामी योगानंद जी ने कहा कि pseudo soul है जो हम create करते हैं in our aversions and attractions. और ये हमारे pure soul है तो ये साइकिल है बॉर्डर्स का और फिर ये अटैचमेंट जो है दिस इस बेन प्रपोजल दिस वी डिसाइड प्लान टू चेक लेटर ये बहुत हमारे अभी वी आर इनिशियल इंटरेस्ट अंडरस्टैंड लेटर सो अटैचमेंट जो है दिस बेन बेसिकली इस डर ईगो और दिस ईगो सोल एंड जो ये है ईगो जो है दैट डिराइव्स दिस आइडेंटिटी Objects of desire are different. People have things and titles. So attachment directly से नहीं है, desire से नहीं है, वो ego identity से ही है, इससे है. तो इसको ego को maintain करने के लिए हम कोई चीजों से किसी ना किसी से attach होते हैं, जो हमारी ego की identity को बना के रखता है. And fulfillment of desire में less 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 is तो fulfillment of desire जब तक external uh, when there uh, are fulfillment of desires depends on the external world, तब तक उसका हमारा satisfaction will also depend on the situations of the external world and the people around us. So sometimes uh, related is a, it's on self-related factors and mostly it's on external factors. And so the degree of fulfillment keeps fluctuating when the desire is in the external world. And uh, that is that on the continuous fluctuation is
प्रत्यार क्या है कि विड्रॉ ऑफ सेंसेस कि हम काम तो कर रहे हैं सोसाइटी में लेकिन हमारी इंद्रिया हमने स्व में स्थित करके रखी है जैसे हम सुबह सुन रहे थे कि अगर इंद्रियों के लोगों के जी रहे हैं तो वो जीना जीना नहीं है तो उसका एग्जांपल बुद्धि और कुछ में है जिन्होंने प्रत्याहार में रह के ऐसा जीवन जिया कि जो अलग लेवल का था अगर धारणा देखते हैं तो एक लोग मैंने एक पुतला बना दिया और वो पुतले से उसने सारी धनों की इतना सीख ली तो इससे बड़ी धारण क्या हो सकती ऐसे ही अगर ध्यान में सीता जी का वर्णन आता है ध्यान पहाड़ों दिवस किसी नाम को तुम्हारे कपाट लोचन नहीं जब प्रजन के लिए प्रजान इतना लेके ही बाढ़ कि जो सतत ध्यान में है उसका क्या बुरा हो सकता है उसका हमेशा अच्छा ही होता है और समाज में हम लोग शोजी को देखते हैं अगर हम इनके भी सब कंपोनेंट्स में जाते हैं जैसे यम है तो यम में अहिंसा सत्यास्थय इस तरीके से तो अगर यम के भी कंपोनेंट्स उस टाइप के थे लेकिन उनके सानिध्य में आके उस अहिंसा के सानिध्य में आके वो अपनी हिंसा बोल रहे हैं ये होती है अहिंसा ये होती है ह्यूमन डेवलपमेंट अगर सत्य देखे तो युधिष्ठिर प्रमाण है अगर हम रस्ते देखे तो भरत के पास तो पूरा रास्ता जितना चाहे लूट लेता लेकिन उसने एज अ डिपॉजिट संभाला और जैसे ही राम आ गए वापिस कर दिया है ना और ब्रह्मचर्य की बात करते तो भीष्म की तो प्रतिज्ञा ही थी ब्रह्मचर्य के लिए अगर हम देने की बात करते अगर हम अपरिग्रह की हमारे पास कुछ ना रहे जो ईश्वर जो सृष्टि में है वो हमारे आने से पहले भी था बाद में भी रहने वाला है हम तो यहाँ ऐसे टूरिस्ट आए जिसका है उसे देते रहो तो कर्म ने तो देवी चीजें भी दे दी मानवीय चीजें भी दे दी ऐसे ही अगर हम शौच की बात करते हैं तो स्वयं प्रभा थी जिन्होंने वानरों को एक दिशा दिखा दी कि आगे लंका में कैसे जाना है क्या करना है हम संतोष की बात करते हैं तो केवट और विभिषण दोनों उसके लक्षण और क्या बनते हम अगर सत्य की बात करते हैं तो शबरी तो एक ट्राइबल वन थी जंगलों में रही थी लेकिन दिन प्रतिदिन सातत्य से जब योग का अभ्यास किया तो जिनको जो सालों से तपस्याओं में बैठे उनको भी जो नहीं मिला वो उसे मिल गया उसकी जो डेवलपमेंट हुई कि आज भी उसका नाम है तो वो स्वाध्याय है अगर हम ईश्वर परिधान की बात करते हैं कि अपना सर्वस्व ईश्वर को दिया जाए हम तो पैसा देते हैं कोई समय देता है कोई वस्तुएं देता है कोई किस प्रकार का दान देता है लेकिन जटायु ने तो खुद ही को दे दिया खुद ही के प्राण से उसने ऐसा काम करना चाह कि जो अपने आप में इसका ईश्वर परिधान का उदाहरण बन जाता है अब हम पीछे चल रहे ये तो हमने पूरा हमने किए Then we also introduced us Lord Krishna, otherwise we, we would not know who is Lord Krishna. The same in Valmi, he introduced us Lord Rama. The great, uh, very powerful leaders, they led a very big team and they brought success working on the basis of dharma. So my topic here, organizational skills and team management learning Subhan Ramayana. So I have been doing this Ramayana and Mahabharata Bhagavan many times. Just go and do this kind of lecture. People also listen to the lecture. And Rama went to forest along with Sita. After some time, Ravana came, kidnapped. Rama collected the monkey, built the bridge, went there, finished the Rakshasa Pula and brought back to Sita, lived happily in Ayodhya. Rama is over. One minute you can finish Ramayana. You can do this Ramayana. One week also, one month also. So what is the relevant of this book to my, for the practical life? What is the pragmatism? What I am getting when I read this kind of Ramayana? So I will make this point in my, for the research question. So whenever we, we take this management topic, we always look at the West. The West also, they also, they also do, uh, people are doing, working, on their own process, and they are bringing so many great theories. Great man theory, trade theory, behavioral theories, contingency theories, transactional and transformational theories. Like this. Many, many theories also will come in the future. Okay, next. Management education, just to under 20 years back, only this kind of thought game, and first, for the certificate is given to students in Amos University from for the America. Just 120 years back, this thought development started. 
Now, our Ramayana has got this kind of management of the point, even in Treta Yuga. So we are living in Kaliuga, before the Gauparika, in Treta Yuga itself we got this kind of management thoughts, and Rama had this kind of, new new thoughts also we can get from Ramayana, not into what the uh, look, western sign, and what is that, expecting some management thoughts. We have our own treasure in Ramayana. This is my other question. When uh, Malmiki brought Rama, he introduced Rama, so his question was, he asked about our uh, Narada Rishi, Tapaswatya Indranam, Tapasvi Vagita Varam, Naradam Paripapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapap